backward, turn backward, O oh, time in your flight. Make me a child again, just for tonight. Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me here on Robin Ramblings. Today, of course, is about Halloween. Look at my necklace, look at got it like sparkly. So I love this time of year so much. It's one of my favorite times of year, obviously. How many times I can say that in one sentence. But I am really excited always about this time of year. It brings a child out in me and a lot of people. You know, um, I just, I still have a lot of fun dressing up and celebrating the day and just celebrating this time of year in general. Absolutely love fall. I love the fall leaves. I love the spookiness of winter coming on and the sun going farther south and and it's just this it's kind of an eerie feeling fall it's um it's awesome i love it lots of scary movies beetlejuice you know well beetlejuice isn't scary but i love scary movies and i'm really picky about my movies but i love suspense and scary movies and and the other reason that i really love this time of year is because my husband and i kind of fell in love during this time of year um, we have a really sweet story about how we kind of got together. We met in in late summer, 19 years ago, and um, we ended up getting together sort of around this time of year. We got tickets to a masquerade ball, and we decided we were going to make some masks. We were good friends at that point, and we decided we were going to make some masks, and we stayed up all night making these cool masks, and it's just... It's just every time a year, every time this year comes around, it just reminds me of how our relationship turned from friendship into love. And it's, it's really a special time of year for that. And it's also really special for me because it's just all the memories of my childhood. I just remember the first time my mom helped me dress up in a costume is really precious to me honestly like I remember her turn I was a princess and so she took a lace curtain that we had lying around and she wrapped around my body and I think I wore a necklace of some kind maybe pearls or I can't remember I know I wore a, a real kind of fancy necklace like I thought it was fancy when I was about four or five and then she she braided my hair into a crown and let me wear makeup and so it was a big deal and then my brother, I think he went as a clown, and I know my mom went as a clown, and he had this great, big, ugly bow. I don't know if, if you've seen those, but it was hilarious, and he had his wig and his clown face, of course. And then I think my grandmother dressed up too, I'm not sure, but we just had a ton of fun. I remember it, I just remember the costume more than anything, but it, ever since then it's been so much fun. You know, classic movies like E.T., I would watch it every year. You know, I haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna have to do that today. I'm gonna put E.T. on in the background while I'm getting some things done. But, you know, I listen to creepy, eerie music, typo negative, you know, they're great for Halloween. Um, and just awesome, dark, morose music. I really enjoy that. Oh, must have been a cat jumped off of something. <laughs> Anyhow. So Halloween is, is just super special for me, and I think it's, it's an awesome time to be able to cut loose and celebrate, um, just to celebrate, to celebrate fall, to celebrate the darkness coming on, you know. I feel like we've lost our connection with festivities, you know, in large part in the United States. We, we don't play and have fun near enough, and I, as adults or just as a society, and I really think that Halloween should be a good reason to sort of dress up and have some fun. And we're going to do a bonfire this year. We always, we usually do a bonfire every year for Halloween or thereafter. Halloween lands, when it lands in the middle of the week, sometimes it's hard. But, um, so we're pushing it to the weekend and we're just going to celebrate Halloween and the Day of the Dead and, and fall and just cook some chili and do stuff like that. And and invite some family and friends over and have a good time. So it's really important to me to find time to celebrate and Halloween is a great time to do that. And it's also a great time to be a kid. You know, I can wear this horribly ugly necklace <laughs> that I would probably, I mean, it's maybe it's not ugly. It's just, it's not something I could wear on a regular basis. You know, of course it's Halloween 
theme. There's witches and crows and bats on it, and it's just my stepmom gave me this necklace, and I really love it. And so I try to wear it every year, just for fun, just during the day. And black, of course, I have to wear black on Halloween. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> So my husband and I went to a Halloween party a, um, a couple of weeks ago. It was a little early, but it was um, one of our friends playing at a music venue here close by, and so we had to dress up and go. And so you guys have just got to see a picture of this. Um, of course, I was all into the Day of the Dead celebration, and my husband is the hanged man. Ooh. <laughs> and we both look really, really kind of mad <laughs> in this picture, but we were trying to be dramatic. Like, because it looks really strange for corpses to smile, so we were trying not to smile. But anyhow, this is sort of what we do from time to time. We love to dress up. Anyhow, so, what do you guys do to celebrate Halloween? Um, what kind of scary stories do you have to tell? I've got a lot of scary stories. Um, actual scary, spooky things that have happened. Um, and people that I know that have happened to, and whether or not these stories end up being real or if it was just a figment of their imagination, it still kind of makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up, and it's really creepy. And uh, Old Shuck is a story that I grew up listening to. My aunt claims that she saw the black dog with red eyes come into her bedroom for months on end, and um, she was terrified of it. It was ruining her life, basically. And I don't know if it was a nightmare or not, but she threw baby powder down on the floor one night to see if it was real or not. And the next morning, of course, um, she didn't have pictures of it, but she said that she had these big dog paws in the powder. And, and you know, it's just a cool story. It's a creepy little story. And Old Shuck is actually an old legend. Um, I think it goes back centuries in England and um, just Europe in general. So it's kind of a creepy story of a ominous, insanely huge black dog with red burning eyes, of course, you know, I mean, we hellhounds basically is what they call them, or the um, devil dog. So those are, that's a story I grew up listening to, and there's another one that I grew up listening to about um, a trucker driving in the middle of the night, and he sees this lady in a red dress on the side of the road, and picks her up, and they start driving, and she doesn't say anything really, she's real quiet. And he looks down at her legs, and they've turned into cloven hoof goat legs. Like, woo! And then he blinked, and she disappeared. So these are sort of the, some of the stories that I grew up listening to. And I, I always loved scary movies. It. Stephen King is a classic. He's one of my favorites. Um, there's a couple of books that I really have been enjoying and read this year, as a matter of fact, that actually turned out to be really great books. My brother bought me one for my birthday this year, and even though I read it in the summer, which I should have waited until the fall to read it, it's called The Butchering Art. And it's not some gruesome serial killer book, but it's just a book talking about um, what it was like before the advent of anesthesia, antibiotics, you know, things of that nature, what surgery in hospitals and getting sick was like before all of that stuff. And it's actually fairly terrifying. If you want to read something true that's terrifying, read that book because you will not ever want to sit, you will not ever say that you want to live in the 1800s or before ever again. <laughs> so that one's terrifying just because it's real. And then another one is Ghost Stories, I think. Um, ghost Stories, I'll, I'll, if I have it wrong, I'll put it down. I'm, I'll put the links all below. For these books because they're really cool. They're just great to read in the dark Ooh, with candles lit. Um, but Ghost Ghost Land actually I think in its um, American History of Haunted Stories or oh, I know I'm getting it wrong. I will link it below and I'll put a little thing right now right here that says the title. <laughs> that way you know and I won't get it wrong. I should have had notes or something but anyhow. So Halloween, just so much fun. Um, so many creepy mysteries, so many, you know, missing people are always creepy. I mean, it's a good way to focus on sort of the darker side of things because we have a tendency to avoid those things, obviously. Um, death is hard for us. Um, all of that kind of stuff. Another cool thing that I love watching 
is um, Ask a Mortician. She's a YouTuber and a mortician, and she's just incredible. She does some really cool stuff. I'll drop a link down below also for her. And she just talks about death. She talks about all the kind of weird, creepy things about death, or not so creepy, as it turns out, but just really fascinating things that um, we as a society tend to sort of just sweep under the rug or don't think about, and it's actually kind of cool. Anyhow, this is the perfect time of year to get into something like that and watch it. So, favorite movies. Do you like to dress up? What, what kinds of things? What does Halloween mean to you? Anyhow, I'm going to celebrate by lighting a whole bunch of candles tonight and maybe eating one piece of Halloween candy. We'll see. I haven't even bought candy corn this year, and that's pretty good because usually I buy a bag of candy corn and I can't resist it. Like, I have to, like, send it out into outer space with like a special code and then and then get it later. <laughs> so, anyhow, leave a comment below, like, share, subscribe, all of that jazz, and thanks so much, and have a wonderful and happy and scary and creepy Halloween. <laughs>